Hello, Libra. Welcome to your last reading of 2022. This is uh, for December 26th to January 1st, Libra, Sun, and Rising. Listen, uh, if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific with your reading, to get really detailed. I do this, Libra, because I love you and I want you to feel like it's a personal reading, as if we're here one-on-one -on -one rather than a general spread. Um, also, astrology and tarot, they've gone hand-in-hand -hand for centuries, all right? In fact, astrology came first and that's why every tarot card is assigned an astrological element or ruling planet or, you know, we got really deep when they're when we combine them all right so for you this week the last week of 2022 libra i can't even tell you how excited i am for you okay you know that jupiter has gone back into aries and that is your seventh house of partnerships okay and whether love or career love or career you're gonna have the most luck out of all the signs, all right? Jupiter is a planet of growth. Uh, 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 it's the uh, planet of luck, prosperity, good fortune, expansion, profit. I mean, come on, come on, Libra. And then also with all this, uh, and, and all the planets, there's a bundle of planets in Capricorn right now, and that's all in your fourth house. So you're gonna feel that in your domestic sector, okay? And so there's a lot of y'all who could have these new beginnings at home. You could be moving in with a partner. You could be, you know, upgrading your space. You could be actually physically moving to a new place, new city, all right? Or, you know, you could meet someone, all right? And that could be part of your world, but this, just think about like your domestic life. And so this is really great, all right? So Libra, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you for the last week of uh, December <laughs> and 2022. This is again for Libra, Sun, and Rising, and I am going to stop talking. I am going to go ahead and get started with your reading. Now, Libra, I said earlier, you are, uh, what did I, uh, oh, I do a traditional called the cross spread, and listen, I want you to do one thing for me, Libra. I want you to think about, so here's the thing. We started off this year with uh, a super new moon in Capricorn, okay, on January 2nd, and we're ending it with that exact same aspect, all right? So I want you to, I mean, we're coming full circle here, and I want you to really, really be proud of everything that you've accomplished this year, okay? Be very proud, okay? Think about that, okay? Think about every goodness that has come into your life. Think about all the positive things that have happened to you and that's going to inspire you moving forward into 2023, all right? Libra, I love you so much. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Libra, look at you. Look at you, all right. Listen, I wouldn't worry about the future. You'll be fine. That's, you, some Libras are just like, what's going on? What's like, I don't know about 2023, you know? And I get it, listen, like I said in my last reading and uh, you know, we, we, we've we had some really harsh aspects, okay? Astrologically, and we're finally leaving that heaviness, okay? And so you are gonna find that balance that you're known for. Let's go ahead and get started because look at your spread. You got the three of cups. This is amazing. This is celebration. This is bonding. This is truly, truly, when I say bonding, like this is all about sisterhood, brotherhood. This is all about being with your friends, being social. And also, think about three. Three is all about growth and advancement, right? But also creation. So birth of new ideas. A lot of y'all could have spent a lot of social time with family members and with, you know, your squad, but also had some brilliant ideas come up too, all right? Good ideas about what you want to do moving forward. Now, in the heart of your spread this week, you did get the Eight of Swords. Now, I wouldn't be worried about this too much. It's been coming up in pretty much everybody's readings, okay? And this is what happens when we come to the end of the year, all right? A lot of people, listen, we, you know, it's a new year. It's a new era. We have those moments. We get really stuck in our heads. New Year's resolutions. What do we want to leave behind? What do we want to do? How are we? We going to better our lives in 2023 we ask those big questions at the end of the year all right it looks like this week a lot of Libras will be doing that but listen you can see that she's surrounded by swords she's blindfolded she's bound there's a lot of fear there's a lot of distress you know attached to this card okay now here's the thing she does feel like she built 
this fortress, right? This fortress of solitude, this fortress like of protection. No, it's a prison. She, it's prisoner of her thoughts, swords, the mental suit. Now, I want you to take a really quick look at her feet, okay? Her feet are loose. She can walk away from this, all right? She can walk away from this. The, sure, it's water and mud. It's muddled clarity. So a lot of Libras are feeling just like, you know, what's going on? I don't know uh, what to expect. I don't know where my passions were at. I don't know what I want for 2023. I don't know what's going on with my relationship. Y'all have some of these big questions going on. But what I want you to know is that when you ask yourself these questions, don't do it in a way of fear. I don't want you to feel limited. I want you to feel liberated, okay? I don't want you to feel a uh, uh, powerless. I want you to feel empowered. So flip those questions that you have into more positive, you know, uh, uh, directions, okay? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Again, this is not in common at the end of the year where a lot of people have these big questions, all right? You did get the King of Pentacles in your challenge area. Area, okay, so I do want you to spend time thinking about um, a lot of y'all are thinking about career. A lot of y'all are thinking about, you know, your fina fi finances and, you know, the uh, having the resources moving forward. You will be fine, okay? This is all about right now this week being in that headspace that you need to be in to, to know that you'll be fine moving forward, okay? Just open yourself up, all right? If you have to do like penny pinching, listen, there. I know it's we're it, like inflation and recession is like buzzword right now and you know we are seeing prices go up if you have to do that do it but listen at the same time self-care is so important okay and I said a lot in my readings mental health is something that everyone should be prioritizing okay and the reason why I'm bringing that up for you Libra is because you also got the moon in your crown all right so this so your spread is indicating to me you are there's it's, part of y'all are is, there's this uncertainty about the future and it's kind of freaking you out i don't want you to be freaked out i want you to know you'll be fine you'll be fine look at your past readings now the moon listen here's the thing you can see that's a really big full moon all right now well, let's trace the moon okay the etymology of the moon it goes back to luna the god the goddess of, of, of the moon right uh this is where we get the word moon from is luna okay uh it, it, it's why we go through uh, you know lunar phases or you know it's it's the you know the lunar space something anything nasa is doing luna okay but then Think about how it's, you know, evolved at a, you know, it, 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 it evolved into a lunacy, right? We all go a little crazy over this, over the moon, okay? Especially when it's full, the, the, it has that magnetic pull on, you know, it controls, you know, animals go a little crazy. Uh, it, it, it controls our tides and the oceans. The moon is really powerful, but with tarot, it does bring up that little, a yeah, little bit of fear, okay? But... A little bit of fear about the unknown. A little bit of fear about that uncertainty about your future, okay? So, you pull this in your crown. I want you to know everything that you're feeling now, I want you to turn them and flip them if it is something that makes you feel like, um, oh gosh, like, uh, if it's making you worry, if it ma it makes you feel anxious, the thoughts that you have, flip them into more positive ways of thinking, okay? Get excited about the future. Get excited about what's, what's to come, all right? It's all about that, you know, that power shift in your mind, that mental shift, all right? And so there is a lot of Libras who are just in that moment again. This is not uncommon toward the end of the year, okay? We all have these big questions, but you did get the hermit in the root of your spread. So it looks like you are wanting to do this big soul searching. Another message that's coming through is a lot of y'all are doing these really deep, intense, like thinking about the future, thinking about, you know, what you want next for yourself. Um, again, questioning a lot of things that are in your life now. Am I happy with my job? Am I happy with my relationship? Uh, is this thing that's going on with my family working out like a lot of these big questions right a lot of these big questions so a lot of y'all are there all right so there's a lot of power in thought okay <clears throat> excuse me 
a lot of power in thought. So I want you to, uh, to, it's okay to have these questions. I just don't want you to feel like you're trapped in your head, okay? I don't want you to feel, like I said, you know, mental health is the most important thing. It is uh, something that everyone should prioritize. And I want you to go into 2023 feeling powerful, okay? I want you to go into it feeling powerful and knowing that everything's going to work out for you because, look, look what you got in your future. You got the emperor, okay? So your experience now is temporary all right for this week okay especially because um first of all you know the, the you see the dog and the moon here all right representing you know we can we can talk about the wild side and we can talk we can talk forever about this card there's a lot happening here all i want you to know is that the the, the dog and the wolf they represent evolution, okay? So, we're evolving at this point, okay? We have to go through these thoughts to evolve. We have to go through these emotional experiences to evolve. You got the emperor. So, this is mastery of self. This is you coming out of it, on top of it, sitting in this throne. I mean, he is the ruler, all right? Ruler of his destiny. He calls the shots. He makes the calls. He is powerful i mean this is there's so much power here all right because it's not only power it's passion it's wisdom it's having he's holding the globe in one hand the egyptian ankh which represents life in the other he's fully protected you see his armor under his his cloak come on you're fine you're fine you're going to be fine libra so it's okay to have all these big questions i just don't want you to do it where you feel like it's a little overwhelming all right now let's get to your staff libra if you like this reading, by the way, it would be great if you like and subscribe and leave comments. I love comments. And um, if you're a subscriber, you know I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. You really make my day. And everybody, every Libra, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you um, because you are going to have an amazing year. Come on. Jupiter in your seventh house. Who can... Come on, come on. I love the seventh. I love the seventh house. You're you have no idea how great your year is gonna be. You have absolutely no idea. All right, so let's get started. You got the nine of swords in your the first card in your staff. So it is very true you're in your head. <laughs> it's very true. Some of y'all to the point where you're losing sleep, but again. It's that pause. It's that switching everything into a positive uh, direction. And you know, as an example, when you go to bed at night, instead of having this worry, you know, what's going on with this relationship? Why is this not happening for me? Why is this, you know, why is this happening to me? Flip it and say, I'm so excited for tomorrow because I'm going to figure out what's going to happen with this relationship, and I'm going to take action with this relationship. I'm so excited for tomorrow because do you see like just that positive reinforcement, right? Just, just that little switch, okay? That's going to help. Now, uh, just because of time constraints and because I, I talk way too much, I Google um, 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 theta mode. It's our brain enters. It's like when you what you see in the movies, people go like people that do go to bed and they have those positive affirmations. And a lot of people pray before they go to bed because it actually works. Okay, there's something where your brain enters theta mode right before you go to bed. And listen, just Google it. It's 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 going to help you out. It's you you will be fine. Listen nine comes before 10 10 is the end of the cycle you just hang in there it's going to all all these swords stacked up remember the swords of the mental suit and there's a lot going on okay a lot of fear a lot of doubt and a lot of uncertainty the biggest message coming through for me is about your future what's happening now and what it's going to be like you know a month from now or a week from now or even like years from now so i want you to just know you're taken care of. The universe is on your side. The universe didn't put you on this earth to like torture you. You are good. You're fine. What is life? It's all, it's challenges. We go through challenges all the time. It is, life is not in, you know, an episode of friends. It's, well, I don't know if that, The Simpsons or whatever. It is challenges and it's challenges because we learn from them and we grow from them and we become better people and we become better versions of ourselves. So I wouldn't be so hard on yourself this week. Listen, Two of Pentacles, 
external factors you are going to have options you are going to have choices okay and this is going to bring some balance in your life when you're able to make that decision especially able to make that de decision to just get out of your head a little bit spin everything in a positive way and look forward to the future but there is possibly two things or a lot, a lot of y'all are thinking about there's uh two things okay and it could be like maybe you're dating two people maybe you're deciding you know whether i stay here or i move there may you know there's careers as well uh there could be two options coming through by the way okay now that is going to bring that balance in your life this card you can see there's a lot of imbalance here now again you are the sign of balance all right that is you libra all right so this is going to help all right having that decision and again it just op choices a message coming through choices are coming through all right so um you'll be fine all right you'll be fine just trust your gut trust your intuition all right do a little more of like getting out of your head and just going here right that's going to help the most that's going to be really really good for you and very positive for you all right especially because you know when you look at your spread it's you know you didn't get anyone so um that passion feel it feel it all right now listen you did get the seven of pentacles so it's clear as day that there's a lot of y'all a lot of this is going to pertain to um something that you've really worked hard for something that you've really put a lot of investment into whether it is your job whether it is you know a relationship or you know maybe even investments right because you know the pentacles are money it is a uh, represent money and wealth but also it's our tangible realities it's earthbound okay pentacles represent earth so the the things in our physical reality but there is a part of you who you know you're 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 at that point where it's you got to make this decision okay you see him send he's raked up all his wealth all everything that he's worked for and he's a little tired he's a little exhausted he's a little over it but you know it's it's time to question am i on the right path is this what i want okay in career in relationships family all of that okay now i'm not saying that any of you are on the wrong path i'm asking you to just take this moment to think okay again remember options are coming through there's going to be decision to make all right just trust yourself trust your gut you'll be fine you'll be finally right now the reason why i say you'll be fine not because of this card it's because you're a libra and you're so fair-minded and you're an air sign and you can answer and tackle those big questions, okay? This is just affirmation. The Queen of Cups, all right? In your final outcome, she leads with her heart. She is very intuitive. She is very psychic. She is very psychic, okay? Very passionate too. So listen, remember, put a lot of that energy, take it out of here, put it more of it here. All right. Now, again, the Queen of Cups in your final outcome, you are going to be in a situation you where, where you're just going to feel on top of your emotions. You're going to be that loving person that you are. You are going to, you know, when I say be that loving person, she has that maternal side, right? That, you know, she takes care of everybody in her kingdom because she loves everyone in her kingdom. So it's all about just finding that emotional balance and that emotional, just being that, being able to really accept it you know, loving it, it, everyone around you, loving yourself and loving the fact that or the situation you're in, because again, if there is a lot going on in your head, it's a good time right now to think about that. Think about the, the big questions you have and then move forward with that knowledge of what you know you want to go after for 2023. All right. It's really just about that clarity, but also in the end you will be fine you will find that emotional balance that you're you know if you feel like you're lacking again because um, you did get the three of cups but in your past right so that's also like a lack of cups in your spread as well but i love that the queen of cups came up in the end okay it's just saying that you are going to be back on track you're going to be you know uh, that intuitive side of you is going to kick in that maternal side that loving side and you're just going to you know a lot of self-love it's a big message coming through so libra i love you so much speaking of love Thanks for tuning in. Um, happy holidays and happy new year. You are amazing, Libra. You're awesome. I will see you 
next week for your January readings. And again, if you're new to my channel, it 